traders, my name's Ray, better known as Samurai Trader, and I love day trading. My job is to teach you how to trade some of the world's best day trading strategies, no matter which market you trade, whether it be futures, forex, or stocks. As we get underway, please take notes. Please pause the video if there's something I mentioned that uh, is of interest, you write it down, because remember, you just need that one idea that may make a massive difference to your trading. So, let's get down to business. In today's session, we're going to perhaps lay the foundation on the how we day trade one of the futures markets, specifically the micro NQ. Now, what I'm about to show you, as I mentioned earlier, you can apply to any market, whether it be futures, forex or stocks, even though in today's video, we're going to be focusing on Renko charts, the exact same setups work on tick, time and range charts. And in other additional sessions, we'll actually discuss and I'll teach you how to trade on tick, time and range, chart, range charts as well. And I should just mention, my videos are raw, real and unedited traders, so if I fluff anything up on the way or say the wrong word, you're going to have to forgive me. Now, as we do get underway, I do need to pull up the risk disclaimer. There is a risk in, risk in trading. Uh, please feel free to pause the recording to read the disclaimer. Now, let's get down to it. Traders, I'm gonna be teaching you and covering a lot of different ideas and strategies. And this is perhaps one of the greatest challenges that I face as a coach and as a trader, and I've been doing this now, day trading for over 27 years. I've taught thousands of members. I've got over 200 traders in my coaching class every week. And one of the greatest challenges they suffer from is what we call confused knowledge. And so I'm going to be breaking this down, really right down to the basics. And so that everyone will be able to pick this up because there's some absolute essentials in mastering the art of day trading. Now, if you're a very experienced trader, make sure you stay with me because some of the ideas and strategies you'll pick up straight away. If you're a brand new trader, stay with me because I'm gonna break it down where you pick it up as well. But this is where most traders become confused. We've got, uh, for an example, this book here, Mastering the Art of uh, uh, Mastering Elliott Wave. Um, great book expensive, but it's a great book. Uh, and I'm gonna show you a comment in a moment from the author of that book and what he says about mastering Elliott Wave. Then we've got over here on the right, Trading Classic Chart Patterns, fantastic book, 450 pages. For the new trader looking at the, both of these, um, uh, for many of you, you're gonna suffer a lot of confusion. And just in reference to a paragraph out of the Elliott Way theory, and as it states here, even if you had all the qualities mentioned above, it could take years of practice to confidently and accurately apply the theory to real time, since most people not spend the time necessary to learn the theory. The bottom line is, traders, is there is no need to spend years mastering the art of day trading. There are some outstanding setups and strategies that you can use immediately to start making money. However, there are some steps that we need to take initially. Now, this is a journey that most day and swing traders um, take. So this is myself and my boardroom. And we can just see just, just a sprinkling of some of the books and courses that I've purchased over the years. Now, by the way, you don't have to attend one cent um, or spend, I should say, one cent attending my webinars here. And I wanna give you just brilliant ideas that have cost me a fortune to put together over the years. You don't have to do this. In the background there, we can see literally dozens of books, and this is only a sprinkling of some of the library or, so, or the library that I have. And by the way, there's my Ali Wade book just uh, over there. Uh, and I'm a researcher and I love what I do. And fortunately, and I've been in a fortunate position financially, I've been able to employ programmers and other staff to assist me. And I have literally hundreds of folders and files put together on trading strategies, 
and ideas, research development folders, advanced get software, all of the Trend Pro, and many of you have seen some of my other videos where I have hundreds of indicator, indicators, literally hundreds. There's no need for you to do this. So let's now start to get in to what it really takes. One of the greatest challenges that I have, and perhaps one of the things that really disturbs me, is the lack of patience that traders have. For an example, no doubt there's already traders that have started to watch this, have already jumped off, because there's nothing that's jumped out to them immediately. They're impatient. To become a master day trader, you've got to become what I call a student of the market. And part of that process is, You've got to master your setups. And I, it makes me think of a Korean archery teams where they're the best in the world. They win gold virtually at every Olympics. And if you want to join their team, they will teach you how to shoot a bow for three months before you actually fire a live round, a live arrow. That's right, three months, they're teaching you how to draw an arrow. Now, in our particular business, how does that, how would we relate that to trading? You need to master your setups on the simulator before you go live. And I, one of the greatest challenges is traders want to jump in and start making immediately. Traders, you've got to remember, you're trading against some of the smartest traders in the world. But fortunately for many of us, including me, trading is not rocket science, but it's about following the basic rules. There's an excellent book written called The Disciplined Trader by Mark Douglas. And Mark unfortunately passed away too young just a couple of years ago. And you ought to get his book, The Disciplined Trader. And what's the other one? The other one is, um, oh gee, was I quoted all the time and I just can't think of a, the name of his other excellent book, but very, very good. And it's probably the best book written on trader psychology that was ever been written. And in the book, he actually says, becoming an expert at one market behavior. This is really important, and this is what I really want to drive home with you. And yes, we are going to get to the charts. We are going to explore a lot more. Um, uh, we're only scratching the surface. By the way, in this one video, I'm going to do a whole series of these. So we're only just looking at just scratching the surface today. But anyway, here's what he says in his book. What you want to do is become an expert at one particular pattern that repeats itself with some degree of frequency. To become an expert, choose one simple trading system that identifies a pattern, preferably one that is mechanical instead of mathematical. In other words, one is it that is visual. So you'll be working with a visual representation of market behavior. Your objective is to completely understand every aspect of the system let me say of the setup, all of the relationships between the components and its potential to produce profitable trades. In the meantime, it's important to avoid all other possibilities and information. Because what actually happens traders is traders suffer from overwhelm. We can only process so much information at a time. Please follow my advice here, it's so important. That is, you need to learn to trade with a trend. Now, I'm going to be teaching you how we trade in the direction of a higher time frame, waiting for a retracement, a pullback, then executing a trade back in the direction of the higher time frame. Now, it's so important that you keep it simple or you will lose focus traders. And that is, when you start to uh, learn how to trade, so many traders, for an example, they want to learn how to counter trend trade, they want to learn how to trade divergence, um, uh, breakouts, there's so many different um, setups. In fact, let me just sh quickly show you this. Now, if we just, let me just pull this up. I think this is really important. So as a coach uh, uh, and as a trainer, here's a range of different setups that I teach my students over a period of time. Now, some of these are just abbreviations, by the way. SC stands for scalping chart. The SB is a snapback, etc. Now, remember, 
You only want to master, sorry about that noise in the background if you can hear it, you only want to learn one or two setups initially and I'll show you what they are in a moment because there's so many different setups and you may ask, well, Ray, why have so many different setups? Because as you become or go full time or you start trading professionally, there are different setups that we use for different situations at different times. So it's important that you learn a number of setups over a period of time, but we wanna keep it simple to begin with. So initially, I want you to focus on a maximum of one or two strategies. And actually, let me just space that, whoops, whoops, I can't do it on that one, sorry, I was about to say, I should have them put space that right. So the two that we wanna really focus on, are two setups that I call the 34B and the 2B. Now traders, once you own them, that is you can recognize them in a blink of an eye, you add another. Now there are some other absolute essentials that you do have to learn early in your career. You've got to learn what constitutes a trend, how to recognize uh, what constitutes a trend, because the trend is your friend. And so we know that the market, a breakout, will continue about 80% of the time. Once you're in a trend, it will continue. But unfortunately, a lot of traders want to start to counter trend trade. I'll teach you how to do that, but it's way beyond today's session. But you also need to learn to recognize divergence and a concept called angulation. Why? When the market is changing direction, we do have divergence setting up. It is important that you recognize that and know when to uh, not take the trend trade. And so that is a very, very important concept that you need to learn. And angulation leads to usually divergence or a very deep pullback. Now there were three basically trading sessions that we have. That is New York, which most traders are familiar with if you're based uh, in America, in the US. And so you'd be very familiar, of course, with the New York trading session. Well, once New York closes down, and uh, say if you're trading stocks, 4 p.m. Eastern, if you're, uh, say, trading futures, it's 5 p.m., the market reopens at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to trade the futures markets. And so that rolls into what we call, and we call it the Asian session, or technically it's called the Globex session. Oh, pardon me. So with the Globex session, we, you've got much, it's a much slower market and you have much lower volume. But then the Asian session rolls over into the London session. So with these sessions, you've got much lower volume, it drops down, and then it starts to increase into the London session. Now, why is that important? It's critical, because we need to consider during these all of these sessions, whether it be New York, Asian, or London, the speed of the market, the size of our stop losses for those markets, our targets can, can differ, our exits, and our broker margin requirements. And this is a very, very important one. For an example, I had an email today from a new potential member wanting to, uh, and actually based in Singapore, wanting to trade the ES. Now at the moment, my broker's margins are, the overnight margin is around $13,000 for the ES, where the day trading margin is, is as little as 25% of that. Now once you come 5 p.m., actually it's 4 p.m., the overnight margin kicks in, even though the market's still open for another one hour, um, uh, the overnight margin kicks in at 4 p.m., meaning if your broker doesn't have an overnight or a discounted overnight margin, you've got to have your full margin in your account. Actually, it might even be easier if I quickly show you this. Let me pull this up. I think this will quickly, this is something that a lot of traders really really get awesome. I'll just show you this. So I'm with um, TradeStation, and here if I go to my margin rates here, we can see at the moment that on the E-mini ES, the initial margin requirements when you're open is $13,200, and you've got to maintain 
uh, $12,000 in your account. However, if you're trading during the New York hours, you only need uh, $3,000 in there, 25%. But there is an issue with that as well because you never risk any more than 2% of your account on a trade. So if you've only got $3,000 in your account, you need to limit your maximum stop loss to 2%. More on that in another episode. Now, we're going to be looking at, uh, and let's see how long we, this will do it on video too. We're gonna to be really drilling down on the NASDAQ micro, which is the MNQ. Now there at the moment, uh, your margin requirements are $1,760 to open an account, okay? Uh, and then during the New York hours, you only need 25% of that. But there's challenges with that, your risk management. So if you're trading after hours, so let's just say you get home from work at 6 p.m. and you wanna start trading the Globex and don't listen to what everyone says, there can be some great trading after hours, it really can be. And if you're only trading one to 10 contracts, no problem, there's some great trading there for you. So if you're working a job, now's the ideal time because these micros are a real blessing for traders, they really are. If you've got a really small account, your only other real option is to be trading perhaps the, uh, the Forex markets with the micros or the mini contracts. And there's some challenges there with those. So my recommendation, if you've got $1,700, $1,800, is the micros. But these are really important. If you trade the back for black gold, say uh, uh, black gold we call is a crude, you need around $6,000, $3,000. And there's some challenges with that as well after hours. Now, in times of volatility, your broker will say, or will email you and say there's no overnight margin discounts, meaning some brokers overnight during the Globex session will say, look, instead of 25%, we'll, we'll still let you trade at a discount, but you need to have 50%. For an example, around the election or around major news announcements, you'll find, you'll, you'll get an email from the broker and they'll say, if you wish to trade after hours, you need to have your full maintenance margin in your account. So that can be a real challenge for you at times. Now, the next thing we need to really consider in moving along here is this. Where are we? Here we go. I just want to show you, and um, uh, and I'll point out that um, for new members on my Google, for new members or anyone that joins, so the spreadsheet does this. It's in the members area, okay? So you can actually go to the members area and you can download the Excel spreadsheet. But this is where I get so frustrated with traders where they're impatient. For an example, if you're sitting back right now and saying, hurry up and get to it, hurry up and get to it. Traders, I want you to pull yourself up on that right away. I can always tell a trader that's going to make it by one that sits back takes notes and listens compared to the one that says, teach me something new, teach me something new. They haven't mastered the most basic of setups, they're not consistently profitable. And some of the most basic setups, as I'm about to show you in the next video, are just great money earners. They're fantastic and they're basic, yet traders don't have the patience. Remember, you've got to have that discipline and patience. So on this slide, so if you have a $2,200 account, and you'll see very soon why I say $2,200, okay? Uh, and you target two net trades a day. So in other words, you go for two 2B two trades a day, netting only, after, this is after commissions, $38 a trade. On that basis, if you started with $2,200 and you net just two trades a day, at $38, and I'll show you how to do that. And you start trading one contract, and every time you get another $2,200, you start trading an additional contract, you have the potential of being up to earning by 20, week 23, 24, $10,000 a week. That is right, on only two, and not even increasing the amount of contracts you're trading until 
you double your money. Now for the experienced traders watching this, you may notice here, have this continues to compound, then over here, you can see you'd be trading 100 micros. Mind you, you're also earning $38,000 a week by that stage. In fact, you'd be trading 10 large contracts because the micro is 10% of the size of a standard contract. And we can see here by week 50, you'd have nearly a million dollars in your account. So how do we actually get these two winning trades? That's what I'm about to teach you. Now, just one more slide here before we move on, and it's this one. What if you're a young gun, that is you're willing to put in, and let's just be generous with the time here, say three hours a day, okay? And if it's a terribly slow day, maybe four, but you know, you should be doing this within three hours a day, that is to get your three trades. So three trades by $38 each, and you'll see very soon why I say 38, and that's 114 a day after commissions, so we're looking for three net trades a day. We're up to our $10,000 a week in 15 weeks. So I'm going to be showing you how to do this. Now, we, we're, what are we now? We're 27 minutes into this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'll pause this one and we'll then uh, go immediately to another video, video two, session two, where we'll look at the charts and I'll start to explain the setups and our money management and the logic behind our entries and exits. So once again, traders, if you have, haven't subscribed, please ensure you do. Thank you for watching this session and traders, I love day trading.